All right, well, there she is. And you guys get to finally see what she looks like all finished. Um, it looks really good sitting in my little uh, garage diorama here. And uh, you guys can see the stance there. Uh, it's pretty low. Um, you know, I kind of wanted to do it where it wasn't just a, an outrageous build. Um, something that would be a little more, you know, realistic. It could actually be driven on public streets. So that's why it's not slammed all the way to the ground. But it's, you know, lowered. Probably maybe, oh, maybe a two or three inch drop, I would say. But uh, that's about it for that. Um, and I have the uh, flat black hood on there, of course. Uh, just kind of, I don't know, I like the look of the flat black hood on the painted cars. I just think it looks really cool. Um, I did another car like that before, too. So it just kind of bounces off of this gold paint really nice. So the front grille has been uh, washed and everything. Um, that looks really good. And then I have those Pegasus uh, rims on there. Uh, and they have um, the brakes inside of them. So they look really good. Um, and then on the sides here where the door panel lines are, um, I did a little black wash inside of all of those panel lines just to make it look a little more realistic and everything. So that came out really nice. Um, as you guys have seen before, uh, there is that vinyl top, um, and that was something new that I've never done before, but I think it turned out really good for my first try and everything. Um, looks pretty realistic, I would say. Uh, I also added a little antenna, um, right here, and just used a little piece of copper wire for that. Just adds another, you know, level of realism to the model. And let me show you guys the back side here. Um, got the dual exhaust. And as you guys can already tell, I'm sure, I de-chromed both of the bumpers. And those are both uh, painted the same as color as the body and everything. And then I made the trunk so that it would hinge. And inside of there is the sound system. And let me show you guys that. Let's see here. We can see kind of there. Yeah, the speakers are on each side. And then the amp is there in the center. And I wired the amp up. So that turned out really nice and everything. I also... Um, which you can't see it that well, but I flocked uh, the flooring inside of the trunk. Um, and then here is the other side. Um, the gas uh, tank um, filler cap there has been chromed. Um, and then we are back at the front again. Uh, before I show you guys the engine, I also wanted to just let you guys kind of see what that interior looks like inside the car. Um, you can see those seats. They have that plaid pattern on them, and it looks really nice. Um, I was a little worried at first because I wasn't quite sure how it would look against this gold paint, but I think it turned out really nice. I think it pops really good. So that's that. Uh, there is the magazines and the passenger seat, and the dash is down in there, so it looks really nice. Um, and then now comes the time for the motor. Now I put a lot of detail into this, did a lot of wiring and plumbing, and I think it came out really good, so here we go. Alright, there it is, and you guys can kind of see everything there. Um, I will post some pictures up at the end of this video for you guys to see everything in a little better detail. But there's a lot going on inside of here. Um, you guys can see up here we have the hydraulic lines coming off of the brake booster. Um, we've got the overflow tank for the radiator with the line running to the radiator. Um, on this side we've got your heater or hoses. Um, of course, the uh, plug wires have been ran 
and then there is the uh, wire going to um, off of each of your plugs there and then we also have uh, the fuel lines with the wire running between those and then you can see uh, I have the two twin intakes here with the cold or the cold air intakes so it's pretty cool um, it's basically just the 383 stroker kit or the 383 stroker motor that came with the kit and then I made my own custom um, air intake system here with the dual intakes so it looks pretty cool so yeah I am really happy with the model I am really happy with how it turned out and um, this is definitely going to be one that I will be putting up on my shelf and uh, it'll look really good sitting up there with all the other ones that I've built.